Hello and welcome to Dentrix Does It. In this video, I'll show you how to use any note response in a patient questionnaire to update various notes within the patient's information. I will be demonstrating using Dentrix G6, although most of this functionality was actually introduced in Dentrix G4 with Productivity Pack 8. First of all, let's set up the questionnaire form correctly for this feature to work. In the Questionnaires module, from the Edit menu, click Questionnaires Setup. I'll select the form and choose Edit Form. In my form, I already have a note response asking if the patient is under the care of a physician, and if so, that they name their physician. I will select and edit that question, and simply check the box Use Note to update patient information. I'll also edit my form to create a new note field and offer the patient a place to include additional information about their medical alerts. Now whether I'm creating new or editing an existing note, the important part is to check the box Use Note to update patient information. After making changes to the forms, I now need to upload the new version of these forms to my eCentral server so that my website or kiosk software will be updated. Well now through the magic of television, I've just received responses for some patients. Select the questionnaire response and choose Update Patient Information. Select one of these note responses and the Note Options pull-down menu appears. In this menu, consider the type of response and choose the patient note that would be most appropriate to update. The Add To options, such as Add to Patient Note, Add to Guarantor Account Note, or Add to Medical Alert Note, will append the current notes, adding this message to the bottom of the existing note. So you don't need to worry about overriding information if the patient already has a note in these places. The Create options will turn the patient responses into a completely new notes in the areas indicated. And that's how Dentrix does it. For more tips and training, please visit the Online Resource Center.